hey guys what's happening so I picked this up on Amazon the other day and I wanted to do some uh, stuff in uh, this PLA carbon fiber and I've actually messed with some stuff in the past protopasta and it actually it printed awesome and it was light but I'm actually doing some CNC parts here my uh, 3018 CNC sorry for the background noise I'm doing some printing there but um so yeah I got this it wasn't expensive actually it's a lot cheaper than the protopasta um, but yeah, like I said, I had to do some CNC parts, and, you know, I print them at 100% infill. Weight is not an issue, but I'm actually looking more for strength. Um, so with my past experience with the uh, carbon fiber PLA, is that you need a hardened steel nozzle. So I already have one of those already. Um, I can't remember I got this from, I think I got it from like a, I don't know, it was pretty expensive, like $25 for the nozzle. But, um, alright, so I'm going to get this open, and we'll take a look at it. Um, I, I, one thing I definitely noticed was before is that it definitely had a much more like matte gray finish. So, yeah, like before this was like half a spool, like half a half a kg, 0.5 kg, and it was like 40 bucks. Uh, I bought that over at Micro Center originally, and that was a couple of years ago. Um, so I don't know if this is gonna be the same or if they've lowered the price down or what it is, but um, so I'm gonna open this up. And uh, do a test print. Okay, so right after off the bat, I can tell this is probably doesn't have as much carbon fiber as the protopasta because the protopasta actually feels like pasta. Like it's brittle; it actually snaps. So you got to be careful with it. You know, you can't run that through like a Bowden tube. Um, at least you, you maybe can, but it's really abrasive and it'll wear out the Bowden tube as fast too. But yeah, this is definitely, it doesn't snap like the other one does. So, um, here I'm going to get this loaded up. We'll do a test cube here. Alright, so the printing temperature says between 200 and 230. Uh, I'm actually going to go to 215. So usually when I do it in the middle of the road, it usually works fine. So, heating it up. And hopefully the light's good in here, you can see that, but um, it always is incredible. For some reason, the, the carbon fiber PLA prints insane. Like the uh, surface quality. Actually, I enabled this is uh, from Cura, and that's actually the I ironed the uh, top. It's nice and smooth. Um, I, mean, I could have slowed down the speed. A little bit of ghosting, but that's actually the printer, not the filament. But yeah, carbon PLA is incredible. It's actually not as gray as the, uh, the protopasta. So the protopasta is actually a lot more gray. So I'm assuming they probably have more carbon fiber in there. But and the Y is a little ghosty. X is a little bit better. Um, not too bad though, you can hardly see it. But cool, awesome. Well you uh, print some stuff for my CNC machine here and and 100 percent infill. Alright guys, awesome.